Hello everyone, my name is Otavio and this is the Galdean Library and today I'm going to be doing a review of Bird Box by Josh Mellerman. This book! Oh my god, this book. Um, so basically the premise is that there is something outside and if you even glimpse at it, you will go mad and attack anyone near you and then commit suicide. And whatever it is that's happening, or as the characters in the book describe as the problem, it started in Russia and slowly made its way across North America, and specifically Michigan, where, is, where the story takes place. It is told in the third-person perspective, and we follow Mallory in present and um, past chapters that alternate back and forth. At first I wasn't so gripped by it, I started reading it um, on the commute, on the train on my, on my way to work or to school, and then whenever I had time, a chapter here, a chapter there, so I wasn't really engrossed in the story until about two days ago when I decided to pick it up and I just could not put it down. I read the, the, the remaining chapters, which was most of it, in one sitting, and after that I, I was just very disturbed and I could not sleep. So I was very tired yesterday because the night before I couldn't sleep because of this book. Yeah, all right. It, it was just so terrifying and it's a, it's a clear testament to me though, at least, um, that whatever is unseen and unknown can be so much more scary and so much more terrifying than something we know, something we are aware of. Uh, that for me, the fact that we didn't see what was happening because if we did, we would die. Well, not we, I mean they. <laughs> I, I hope I, I don't die for if I look outside, I hope. Anyway, so I read the, the remaining of it in one sitting and it was just fantastic. Um, the journey was amazing and terrifying just as I expected it would be and actually a lot more than I expected it would be. And um, it, it, it is um, a horror novel, but there are other themes that are common on post-apocalyptic novels, especially our reaction or, or our non-reaction even on it in the face of the lies we're so used to completely disappearing and the world that we're so used to changing so much. However, with all the great things about this book, there were two things that really, really bummed me out about it. and. The first one is character development. Um, even though this book talks a lot about um, people's reactions in a post-apocalyptic event or how people react in a community full of, of, of individuals that they haven't met before this event came to being and uh, dealing with loss and dealing with stress and lack of res resources and all of that, it, th most of the characters were just so flat. They didn't really develop. They 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 didn't even have personalities to begin with. And some of them were so flat that I even confused them with others, you know. And because the only differentiator between certain characters was the name. I don't know. They they were just really really flat to me. The second thing about this book that I really didn't like was a big bummer, even bigger than characters that are flat, and that is the ending. <laughs> and in a mystery or a suspense or a, a horror novel, I feel like the ending is very, very important, especially when there's so much build up to that ending. And I feel like it wasn't satisfying and it didn't really um, commit enough and it wasn't great um, at when, when, when contrasted with so much build up throughout the novel. So, I don't want to spoil anything, I'm just going to keep it at that, that I didn't like the ending, it wasn't good, and I've read other reviews, and I feel like a lot of people do agree with me that the ending was a big bummer, and I don't know, I just, it was just not great. Not great at all. Um, but all in all, it was very terrifying, and I read horror and suspense novels a lot, so to find something that terrifies me when it has been a while since I was scared while reading um, a horror book 
it's very refreshing. I was genuinely scared. And it was also fast-paced. Uh, like I said, I couldn't put it down after I really got into it and I finished it in one sitting. And, you know, just the journey of reading this book was fantastic. Even considering the ending and the flat characters, I still recommend this book for anyone who likes that sort of creepy th thriller and horror novel, you know, um, someone who is afraid of things unseen rather than um, a, a huge ugly monster or something like that. So I feel like for the journey alone it is a worthwhile read, but I cannot just um, disregard the, 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 the things that are so wrong about it. Um, Anyway, overall, 3.5 out of 5 stars. Great read, I recommend it, just not as highly as I wish I, I did. Um, well, thanks for watching, and if you like this video, click the like button, and if you want to see more, click subscribe. Ciao!